Okay, in this video, I just want to quickly go over uh, one more thing inside Zapier. Uh, Zapier. This one will be quick, I promise. Uh, the last one went a little bit over time again, but there was quite a bit to get through. So um, the only ma other major part of um, Zapier is the task history, which can be found here. And this basically just lists everything that has happened or every zap or task that has run inside your account. So every time you, know, you, create, you create your zap, you know, to trigger something when something happens and to put that data in another app, whatever that happens to be, when that runs, it'll appear here. And it's got a status, um, it shows you which zap it belongs to, and um, if there's a reason like something it went wrong for some, for some reason um, and when it happened. So as you can see here, this is actually a pretty good demo because I've had some errors as well as um, some success. Uh, normally these would all be, um, these have actually, these have actually broken uh, because we're not even signed up to that service anymore. So normally that all be success or filtered. Um, and you can sort of select them through here. So based on what kind of status they have, like if I only wanted to see um, ones that had, had an error, I could uh, use that. Um, but yeah, the, the actual searching is really good here. So uh, a good way to debug things is, for example, if you had a zap that was pushing uh, someone from your CRM into another tool and they complained that they didn't get an email or whatever, um, you could search for their email here and it looks at all data that happened in that zap. So if I show, um, if I have a look here, maybe um, one of these, so that you go to data out, and this is all the data that was used um, inside that, um, that particular zap, so the data that went in and out. Um, to each service, um, so it's searching all of that, um, so you could find potentially where the problem was. That's why I like uh, the task task history. Um, the other major thing here is auto replay, which is a a feature on paid accounts only, and it's pretty awesome because what what happens on a free account, like let's say um, Active Campaign, which is my CRM goes down for whatever reason and I've got zaps trying to push data in there, they'll all fail. Now, if I was on a free account, I'd have to come back in later and sort of tick them all and tell them to run again. Uh, so, but with auto replay, it just does it automatically and you don't have to think about it. So it's pretty amazing. Um, the only thing I didn't cover, sorry, is the filtered status. So that's, as we went over in the last video, if you've got a multiple step zap, and a filter uh, step that didn't pass, so those criteria didn't actually, um, they weren't true, basically. Uh, it will have filtered, and that's what that status there is. All right, that's pretty much it. See you in the next vid.